I'm Jenny. I'm Flyleaf's, Flyleaf's go-to romance reader. And since it's my last day at the store, I figured I'd be giving five recommends before I go. So first up is Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. Talia Hibbert is one of my favorite romance um, authors of all time. And this has to be my favorite book. It's sexy, funny, and just laugh out loud, charming and hilarious. So definitely pick this one up, um, especially if you've already read the first two books, uh, Get a Life, Chloe Brown, and Take a Hint, Danny Brown. I recommend all three. Next up, I recommend Julie Murphy's If the Shoe Fits. This is a brand new series out. Uh, the first book is this one here. It's a modern retelling of Cinderella with a fat positive spin. And it's just so great. Um, and if you're looking for something that you're still familiar with, but with a new twist, this is the one to go to. And don't miss out on Jasmine Guillory's next book in the series out next year. My third recommendation will be The View Was Exhausting by Michaela Clements and Anjali Dada. Uh, this is a married couple. I just love it when two people come together and write a book, and especially if it's a romance with a happy ending. This one has all my favorite tropes, fake dating, Hollywood romance, and of course, commentary on race, class, and gender. So if you're looking for a romance that both has um, emotional and heft with also commentary on our real world, this is the one to go to. Second to last is Second First Impressions by Sally Thorne. Uh, you may know Sally Thorne from The Hating Game and 99% Mine, but this one is my favorite of hers. It's such a comfort read. And if you're looking for something a bit more wholesome, this is the one for you. It's just like a warm hug personified. It's just really great if you need um, something after an exhausting day. And last but not least is The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I think this is the perfect book if you're a reader who wants to get into romance but isn't sure where to start. It's a contemporary setting, so not too hard to wrap your head around. Plus, it has witty banter and amazing chemistry. And as a podcaster myself, I really loved all the different um, podcasting that goes on in this book. It's just really fun um, and definitely will leave you with a smile on your face. So if you're looking for some happy endings out there and want to get them, definitely read these five books and check out our romance section as well.